What's up you guys, Shortimus Prime here, doing another NECA Toys action figure review on the Batman Begins movie Batman figure. If you're trying to pick this up, it is a Toys R Us exclusive and it does come with the disc, so it's similar to like how they did it last year with the Christopher Reeve and the Heath Ledger Joker figures, so it is a TRU exclusive. Anyway, I gotta say, big thanks again NECA Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the link in the description below. This is a very cool looking figure already, uh, nice packaging as well. Even though that's not Bale Batman, that's not him. Anyway, on the side right there, you get some Bale Batman and the bat symbol right there. And then you can see on the very back, there's a read-up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And on that side, we get the Batman again. Not much more at the top. And on the bottom, you can see all the people responsible for creating the figure. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Bale Batman out of the packaging. Looking pretty sweet. I think NECA has done a fantastic job with this piece. And I love that NECA is giving us more and more of these DC films characters right here in action figure form. I really like this big cloth cape that we get with this figure. It looks very cool. I like how it's cut out, the little edges right there. I really like the sculpting throughout. Uh, there's not a ton of paint because mostly, you know, his suit is mostly black, but it looks very good and he does come with some very cool accessories as well. As you can see right there, he has that grapple gun holster on the back of his belt. I think that's very creative. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Batman. So the figure comes with four interchangeable hands. We get a a pair of fisted hands and then we get a grapple gun holding hand and a battering holding hand. These all look very nice. I like the little attention to detail right over here. We have those little sculpted in holes in the gloves and everything. I think that looks pretty cool. I like these a lot. And then he does have the grapple gun looking very cool as well. I really love that copper color. Very nice attention to detail with the sculpt and everything. I'm really digging it a lot. And it fits into this hand fairly well. So you just slip this right through here. And there we go. Looking pretty good. I like that. We also get this little clip right over here. So if we want to have his grapple gun stored on his back or attached to the utility belt anyway, what you do is you take the side that has the two little pieces at the bottom. And then you just want to place that through that trigger hole right there. And that's how that clips together. I actually learned that from watching Pixel. Pixel Dan, get better soon, Pixel Dan. Pixel Dan's sick right now. You gotta, you gotta send your thoughts out to Pixel Dan, okay? Anyway, you just attach it to the back like that. So I think that's pretty awesome. Then lastly, we get the battering holding hand and the two batterings. So here's the bigger battering out of the two, looking pretty cool. I like that. And this side right here doesn't really have any sculpting on it or anything. Then we get this very tiny one right here, which I don't like so much. I mean, they're both sculpted pretty well, but it's so small and tiny. And putting it into the battering holding hand is fairly easy. So that works. I tend to want to actually have it with the spikes pointing towards the enemy like that. So that works. And of course, it will hold a larger one too. So that looks pretty good. Wow, somebody had a white Christmas, right? Look at those eyes, man. They are peeled. But other than that, I think this is a very good head sculpt. I just think they went a little bit too hardcore on peeling the eyes. One thing I did notice while taking pictures, though, if you're having his head tilted down just a little bit, it looks just right. So that doesn't really look so bad if I tilt his head downward just some, even looking at it from an angle, it doesn't really bother me as much. But yeah, when you tilt the head back a little bit, it's like, what's going on, brother? Yeah, so anyway, looking at the helmet sculpt over here, or the cow sculpt anyway, I think it looks very good. I really like the little wrinkles in there. The flesh tone looks pretty nice as well. I like that. It looks like Christian Bale mouth to me. So very distinct look right there. And the bat ears look pretty good. A tiny little plastic notch from the molding right there, but not so bad. At first I thought the neck was too long, and then I went and looked up some images, and yeah, this is actually fairly accurate. In the movie, when he actually tilts his head down, this piece folds in a little bit, so it is a little bit more pliable on the actual cow that Bale wore in the movie. But anyway, moving along to the rest of the figure, I really like this cloth cape again. I think it's very cool that we get the cloth cape. I like the cloth cape, and I really like how it's attached to the cowl over here so that we still get articulation and everything. Then looking at the suit itself, and the armor and everything looks really good. Nice bat logo right there. Nice matted black throughout. A lot of sculpted lines that I'm really digging right there. Looking pretty sweet. And I love the color choice of using this glossy black right there for the gauntlets. I think that's pretty smart. I dig that. And the belt looks fantastic. I love the details on this utility belt. Little touches of silver right there mixed in with the copper. Looking really good. Going all the way through the back right there. Looking really nice. I dig that a lot. And then there's some more details right there on his back. And we get that bale butt right there. And then we get some lines sculpted on the thighs and everything. Not looking too shabby, man. And I like the glossy black once again for the boots. Nice wrinkles sculpted in there. Nice texturing. 
Boots look very realistic. You get a peg hole right there on the bottom of the feet. Nice treads down there too, man. I like it. And then just to demonstrate how wide the wingspan is on this cape, not too bad. So as we look at the figure a little farther away, you can see what I'm talking about with the neck looking a little bit long. But honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much. I don't think it looks too bad. Anyway, you cannot get the head moving up so much. This is a little unfortunate, but consistent with the movie because I don't remember Bale Batman being able to look up so much in Batman Begins. You can make him look down a little bit. You do get side to side movement right there at the bottom of the cowl and he has a little bit of head pivot or neck pivot anyway. Uh, the shoulders, it does take a little bit of force to get him to move outward. You want to be careful with that but they will move all the way out 90 degrees and they move down very far. You can move them forward. There's no bicep swivel. It looked like there was going to be one just because it looks like there's a sculpted in cut right there but that's just a detail that's sculpted in it. There's no bicep swivel. Uh, we do get a single jointed elbow that meets just a little bit more than 90 degrees. It rotates right there. Then all the wrists swivel and they hinge up and down. Uh, we do get a diaphragm joint that can barely move forward. I wish it could move forward more than that and it does move back more so and you do get a little bit of pivoting right there at the diaphragm and of course you could turn the diaphragm side to side. He does have waist articulation where you can move it side to side and you don't get much waist pivot or waist crunching. It's really just a swivel over there. You do get hip joints that move out very far. Look at that. Wow, Batman can do the splits and he can kick very far forward and kick very far back and he does have rotation at the upper thigh, single jointed knee, eh, not quite meeting 90 degrees, rotation at the knee, then the ankles do move down a little bit, they move up some, and they can turn side to side as well as a little bit of ankle pivot. Now measuring out this Bale Batman figure, you can see at the top of those bat ears, he's just under seven and a half inches tall. And then for your NECA toy seven inch Batman comparison, we have the Adam West Batman along with the Michael Keaton Batman compared to the Bale Batman. Out of the three of these, yeah, the Michael Keaton one is still my favorite, but I think all all three of these are pretty good. I really like what they're doing over here, and I wouldn't be surprised if NECA went ahead and made a Batflack version. And then here's our NECA Bale Batman compared to the NECA Heath Ledger Joker, and wow, this is such a great figure. I'm sad I never got around to reviewing it. I might do it for a Patreon exclusive or something, but yeah, there's your size comparison. I think they look pretty good side by side. And then for your Bale Batman comparison, we have the NECA Toys Bale Batman compared to the Mayfex Dark Knight Batman, think devils do. And you can see how the suit has evolved throughout the three movies. And then here's the Bale Batman next to the Marvel Legends big time no let down Spider-Man. Ooh, it's been a while since I've seen this Batman around. Yeah, I've been working on my Christian Bale Batman impersonation. Check it out. <clears throat> And here's a NECA Batman figure on a NECA display stand. Looking pretty sweet, I think. I like these new NECA display stands. Pretty poseable and very durable. And I like this figure. This is a very cool looking Bale Batman. I think NECA did a very good job on this piece. If you're a fan of the Bale Batman, I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys like my review and you recommend my review to your friends and everything. You know, share this video if you'd like. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, please be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when the latest to Sharpness Prime videos coming at you. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's over at toynewseye.com. And you can check out my action figures for sale along with t-shirts and music over there at shardimusprime.net slash store. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. So the figure comes with four interchangeable hand- Ooh, this is just a little.